Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to introduce Mary McDermott, our second vice president of the House of Pacific Relations. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today on this beautiful sunny day in San Diego. On behalf of the House of Pacific Relations International Cottages, I would like to welcome the long program of the House of India. And with that, I would like to introduce the President of the House of India, Raj Madaliar. Namaste, Namaskar, Manakkam, hello and welcome. Welcome to uh, the Lawn Program. It's being hosted by House of India today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy life to be here. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's so fortunate that we live in San Diego. And we are doubly fortunate that we have an opportunity this afternoon to share our very rich tradition, culture, heritage, and folklore uh, with the beautiful people of San Diego. Uh, I just want to give a very quick update on the status of House of India Cottage. You're probably aware that we don't have one right now here. But it's, uh, we are hopeful, we are very optimistic that this June, the city of San Diego will give us a favorable decision to release additional land on the periphery of these cottages. And along with eight other countries who are waiting in line to build their own cottage, uh, we'll be very, very close to our dream <laughs> of getting a cottage of our own. And uh, not just on lawn program or ethnic food fair or December nights, but year, all year around, we want to share our, our beautiful culture with, with people in San Diego and in the United States. So having said that, uh, we would love uh, to get your support in this endeavor. And uh, we're waiting for the green flag uh, from the city in June. And uh, hopefully next time we see you, we'll be one step closer to that. Uh, we have had a very, very hardworking group of volunteers for seven years. We've been together, uh, you know, um, to be part of H uh, HPR, House of Pacific Relations. And uh, without further ado, I want to introduce you to uh, Piyusha, who will be leading the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, if everyone could please rise. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. If you could please stay standing, we're going to do the two national anthems. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we marched were so 
I'd like to take this opportunity and I take great pleasure in introducing um, these beautiful young ladies who are the cultural ambassadors for House of India. Uh, so I'm going to start with the Queen, Piyusha Notani. She's a senior, she's getting ready to go to college. Good luck. Uh, this is Mansi Jain. Ria Agarwal. Shashi Chabra. And we have Madhur uh, Gajiwala. Thank you. New princess Ishika Mehta. Um, here in Isha Madaliar. So, if you could please come up and you can introduce the show. Anisha? Um, our first number, we will start the cultural program today with a classical dance drama called Mohini Vasa Masura. It is performed by Reshini, Rajshri, and Nandini Umesh. Mohini Basamura is a mythological story about the demon who prays to Lord Shiva to make him stronger. The choreography of this piece is influenced by dance forms such as Bharatanatyam and Kathak, in addition to the style of the popular Karnataka folk theater, Yakshagana.
which is a North Indian classical dance in San Diego over the last 15 years. Enjoy! <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, while they're trying to fix it. I just wanted to let you know that, you know, in terms of the diversity that we have in India is, uh, I mean, being an Indian myself, I probably just know the, you know, the tip of the iceberg. Uh, just in terms of official languages, we have over 14 official languages. And if you combine that with more and the dialects, there are over like 300. In terms of the cultural scene, uh, classical, we have so many different classical versions of the dances. Some are as old as 5,000 years old. Uh, Bharatanatyam, we have Kathak, we have Odissi, we have Mohani Atam, and these are all specific to different regions of uh, India. And usually it takes a student to train under the guru, guru meaning the teacher, for over 10 years before they actually publicly present the student to the, you know, to the audience. And that's done usually like a huge wedding. Uh, over 500 people attend the show when the first time the guru presents the student. Uh, intense training, a lot of hard work goes into the classical dancing. Uh, besides the classical uh, dances, we also have many, many folk dances uh, coming from different regions. Punjab is a very vibrant Bhangra, you know, which has now become like uh, Zumba or the aerobics. So uh, you burn a lot of calories. And from the state of Gujarat, we have the Ras Karba. Thank you for the chance to talk a little bit about the Indian culture.